Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a balloon powered car. I've also done a video on um, an elastic band or rubber band powered car. So it'd be quite fun actually to make them both and have a comparison and see which energy source is best at powering your car. I've made it as simple as I can so that you can build it out of things that you have at home. So here is my prototype of my balloon powered car. It's not pretty is it? You can make yours a lot prettier I'm sure. So what are you going to need to make this little car today? You need a piece of strong cardboard. Doesn't really matter what size. This is about three inches by six inches. It's just because that's what I had. That was a convenient size. That doesn't really matter. You will need four milk bottle tops. A balloon, two straws, some, these are kebab sticks or wooden skewers, some tape, something to make a hole in the bottle tops with, scissors and something to cut. I just use these to cut the wooden sticks with which will be your axles. I'm going to use a glue gun today. I'm going to try and improve my car. As you can see here I've just taped the straws underneath to hold my axles in place. They're not very straight are they? My car doesn't go very well because those axles aren't straight so I'm going to try and improve on that today. But if you only have tape just use tape. So first thing you need to get your milk bottle tops and you need to make a hole as close to the centre of each one as you can. Don't make the hole too big. You want it to be a snug fit onto your wooden skewer. So I'm just making a hole in the middle. Just say don't make it too big. And then while you've still got the point on here, because you're going to cut this point off, just push it in. You want that to really fit tightly and snugly. If you make the hole too big, don't worry. You can put your wooden skewer in and you can glue it. Obviously, you're going to have to wait for the glue to dry, but I've managed to get this fairly tightly on there. So you want to do that to your four bottle tops so that you have a hole as close to the center as you possibly can, because if it's not in the center, it's not going to run smoothly. So I've done that with my four bottle tops. Next thing is to make the power source. I have to make this balloon so it will power my car. Now I find it easier if I cut the little rolled edge off the balloon. So if I just cut that off my balloon, I find I can then make a better seal. So I get one of my straws. This straw I want to keep the bendy part on. I just stretch it out because we want that to bend so we can experiment with the best way to power our car. Do we have this pointing down so the air is coming out pushing on the ground? Do we have it pointing straight back so it's pushing back, so the air is coming out and pushing it forward? Cut about a third off my straw. There we go. Put the balloon on the end of the straw. So the straw's going inside my balloon. There. Wrap the balloon tightly round. You've got to get a good seal here so that when you blow the balloon up, all the air's going into the balloon and it's not coming out here. So I'll get a piece of tape and I need to make that seal nice and tight. I don't want air leaking out of there so we've got to seal that up. So that is our power source. I don't need all of that tape so I'll cut it off. There is our power source. Put the scissors over there out of the way. Okay next we need to sort out our axles and the way our car is going to move. So we're going to need the other straw because these wooden rods are going to go inside the straw and then they should be able to turn smoothly because we want as little friction as possible on turning that axle. 
So this straw, I am going to, I shouldn't have put my scissors over there, I need them back. I am going to cut the bendy bit off. Then I'm going to cut the straw in half. Right. It's important to get this straight. So I have drawn, I have drawn straight lines along there to glue this on. Now it doesn't matter where. This could be something else you could experiment with. Does it matter if they're near the edge? Obviously you don't want them in the middle because because you're going to have two of them. But it does close to the edge work better than further in? I don't know. So if you don't have glue, you can just tape that straw on. I am going to try and use my glue gun because I've not done this before. So I've got my glue gun. I'm going to try putting a line of my glue. This isn't a really hot glue gun. This is a low powered glue gun because if you have one of the really big strong powered glue guns that gets the glue really hot, you could end up with your straw melting. So I've got my glue there and I'm going to stick my straw along that line I've drawn. I'll do the same with this one. You can use any glue to do this or if you haven't got glue available just use any sort of sticky tape that you have available. Um, if you've got double sided tape you can try that. It's not important. So let me get that as straight as I can. Right, so that will need a few minutes to set. So the next thing I'm going to do when I've untangled myself from the stringy hot glue, get your stick. I'm going to cut the pointed ends off so that we're not going to stab ourselves with those. Push one wheel onto one end. Then you need to work out roughly how long you want it to be. You don't want the wheels to rub against the cardboard, that's going to slow it down. This is something else you can experiment with. You know, does a longer axle work better? What works better? So I'm going to cut mine approximately here. So I've got my axle about that length. And I'm going to get my other axle, my other skewer, I'm going to cut the pointy end off and I'm going to cut it the same length. So I've got my two axles. There we go. We're nearly there. We've nearly done it. Glue's still setting a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my balloon and I'm going to lay it on my board so that the bendy bit is just touching the edge. Okay, so that if I want to, I can bend this wherever I would like it to point. And I'm just going to tape that onto there. So I just need a little bit more of my tape. I can glue it. I'm just going to tape it just for speed and convenience today. So there I go. I have my power source for my little car. Now, glue's just about set, just about ready. So, one bottle top on. As I say, I could put some glue there to make sure it's secure and it doesn't wobble. I'm going to go without for the moment. That's an improvement that you can do. Thread it through your straw and then push a milk bottle top on the other end. This is the tricky bit, it's quite hard to push on but it's important you have that tight fit so that it doesn't wobble about. Let's make sure I've perhaps not made the hole quite big enough for this one, there we go. That's it. So that's on. So that's one on. Then get my other axle ready.
There we go. Put my other wheel on it. And here you have your simple balloon powered car. Now I think I've probably made my axles too long. What do you think? I think I've made my axles too long and they're going to wander around. But the next thing to do is to see if it works. And I must show you if it works. Right, so I've blown up the balloon on my little car. I've got my finger on the end of the straw so that the air doesn't escape until I'm ready. I've got it down on the ground and let's see how it goes. When I let go it should hopefully start moving. That's great. So my little car went okay but I think there's quite a lot of room for improvement. I think I'd like to make the axles shorter so they're not moving around quite so much. Although obviously I've got to be careful they're not rubbing on the side of the car. I need a small amount of gap. Um, I don't think my wheels are on very straight. I think I need to do a little bit of work getting my wheels straight and then I think it will go better. So make your little car, think how you can improve it. Those are just two improvements I could make. How about putting two balloons on there? Would that make it go faster? Would it make it go farther? I don't know. Give it a go and try making the elastic band car as well that I'm going to show you how to make and have a go at comparing the two. Have fun with it.